Hey everyone, welcome back to Deepak Stack. In today's video, I'm going to show you how you can create a custom rating control for your Power App that will allow you to collect the rating in your Power App. At the same time, you can also be able to change the actual rating icon. So stay tuned. Before I start, let's see what we already have in Power App. So I'm in my Power App Studio, and this is a sample blank app. Now what I'm going to do under input, there is a rating control. So let's see what's in this control. So as you can see here, this is very powerful or useful rating control that we have in Power App. Now this is already available, so we can use it as it is, as we want. And it is very functional. You, it is very responsive, as you can see here. If I play this one, you can see I can give rating to this one and it will give me the information. Now, the limitations or the challenge with this control, what we have, you can't really change the image or the rating icon. So it is a star and that's the only option you have. In some cases, we require to use some other icon for the rating control. So for an example, let's say I want to uh, collect feedback or rating on my app but instead of star I like to use heart icon or maybe a thumbs up or any other image and in those scenario this control is limited and that's why we are creating a custom control now let me show you how the new custom control is going to work so this is again another app that I have created in which this is my custom control as you can see here and right now it is showing me heart icon and I can select different rating for this app but I can also use the different image here so I can switch from heart to star I can also go to thumbs up and even uh, maybe a smiley emoji and these are just few options uh, there is no limit if you have the image that you like to use in your rating control you can use it now if you like this control and you like to know how to build this then let me show you so to build this control, I'm going to create a sample power app. There's nothing in it, just one screen. And to start creating that control, go to app on start. And we are going to create three variables. The first one is variable current rating. So this variable is going to hold the current rating, what user is selecting or user giving to your app. We will initiate this with zero. The second one is variable default color. So this is the default color of that icon so when it's not selected what's going to be the color of that icon the second one is selected color so that's the color we are defining when users select the rating this will be the color of that icon so if you notice here we are just passing the actual code of the color without any hash so remember if you are planning to use any other color then just use the code okay the next we need to define image or icon for the rating so for that this is another variable that we need to define it's called variable icon and what we are using here we are using SVG icons or SVG image for this control so as you can see here this is my SVG code for heart image I'm going to add a link in this video to the app that I just display and that will provide you all those different four icons that I was using but that's not the limitation if you have the SVG code for any other image that you like to use you can just replace the selected area that I'm selecting right now with your image the only thing that you need to remember when you're replacing make sure that code has the fill property defined like this so you just need to make sure that whatever code that you are getting for SVG have this fill property and the color code for this fill property should match with the default color okay so if you have SVG that's great if you don't you will be getting four SVG with this video so don't worry okay so we define our icon the next we need to define a collection for the rating control so this is my collection called collection rating each item 
or record in this collection is going to have an ID that is incremental ID one two three four five and an icon property that will hold the actual icon for the control okay so right now this collection is having five record so that means I'm creating a control up to five rating now if you like to create a control up to ten rating you just need to create five more here so you, it will be one to ten the next thing that we will do we will go to the screen and we are going to insert a gallery here okay and this gallery will be our control and as you can see here my collection rating collection is showing up here so I'm going to set this gallery data source as a collection rating and next we are just going to clean this gallery a little bit removing everything but the image because only thing that we need in this gallery is the image now we have the gallery that is connected to the collection rating collection and we have an image so let's make this image equals to this item dot icon now as you can see here all the icons are showing up here but this is not how we want our controls to look like so what we are going to do here the first thing that we need to do click on the wrap count property wrap count will be count rows of collection rating so I'm saying whatever number of items are available in that collection rating collection that's going to be the wrap count for this gallery so as you can see here we have five so now we have the five wrap count okay next we will go to the image we will make sure that x and y of this image is zero so we want this image to be starting from zero and zero okay width of every image going to be parent dot width divided by count rows of my collection rating and the height of the image is going to be the parent dot height okay so now if I make it smaller now as you can see here this control is very much responsive perfect okay so now we have our basic control ready next we need to uh, add a logic on click so generally on rating control what we want whenever user click on any of these icons or image that image including any image prior to it should get selected and that's how rating work correct so if i click on the third heart one two and three should be selected if i click on fifth one then all should be selected so to make that logic we are going to work on on select of this image and we are going to add some logic here okay the first thing that we need to do we need to set the variable current rating variable equals to the ID of the item that user clicked so if I click on the third item the ID is going to be the three so it will be three if I click on fifth item then it's, this will be five after I set my current rating variable next what I'm going to do now this is the this part we need to understand a little carefully so what I'm doing here I'm creating a rating count collection using the sequence function and why I'm doing it I'm trying to create a collection of number of item in that rating control so if I have a control with five rating this is going to give me five so sequence will create a collection of five one two three four five now if I have ten rating control then this will give me a collection of ten one two three four five till ten right so once you define this rating count collection we are going to use this collection to loop through and patch every item into our actual rating collection okay so the next thing that we are going to do we are going to create a for all so this is my for all function and what I'm doing in this function for all rating count now if you look at this rating count collection so this rating count collection has value from 1 to 5 so in my for all loop I'm saying loop through each item in this rating count and then patch 
record of collection rating that's the actual collection for our rating and what we are patching we are patching icon and this is the logic that we are applying here so what we are saying here if this record dot value that means the value of the current loop so if you are on the third loop this will give us number three so what we are saying if three is less than equal to variable current rating so let's say we are on the third loop and user also clicked on the third icon so this condition will be true right so because this condition will be true we are going to use the substitute function to replace the default color of the icon with the selected color so we will replace the color here now if we are on the second loop this condition will still be true because 2 is less than equal to 3 so it will also replace and also same similar apply to the number 1 so with this 1 2 and 3 will be colored or will be selected rest will be defaulted so this way you can apply the logic when user clicking on a particular image everything prior to that will also be selected okay so now you define your uh, variables your rating count collection and also the for all let's run this one and as you can see here it's working as expected isn't it very simple so this way you can create this custom control now it's working fine but you remember why we created this one because we wanted to change these images as easy as possible so let me show you how you can easily change these icons so I will go back to my app on start where I defined this icons variable and this time let's change this icon variable to something else so now I have this another SVG for a star and as you can see here these both looks very similar the only thing is changing is your actual SVG code now you can see it's changed to star and if I play this one now very functional so this is how easy is going to be uh, changing these different icons that you are using in your control. Now not only this, instead of 5 if you want to have let's say 7, the only thing you need to do you just need to create that many record in your collection control. I added 2 more and now as you can see here now I have 7 rating control. So this is how easily you can create and uh, use this custom rating control in your app feel free to use it and as I said at the beginning what I'm gonna do I'm gonna add a link in this video description to the app that I was showing earlier this one so you can freely download this app this app has the control with the sample SVG for all these four different type of icons you can use it and if you have other SVG I can freely uh, replace and use it thank you for watching this video and don't forget to subscribe